If you can get $20,000 for killing a cockroach, would you take such a job? The man freezes, not expecting the cockroaches on Mars to be so big. He just wants to raise his hand to say hello, but suddenly the cockroach rushes over and chokes his girlfriend to death. It turns out that this horrible place is Mars. Let's start from the beginning. To address the problem of overpopulation, a project for exploration to Mars was launched. The project is called the Terraforming Project. The year is 2597. In a crowded street of Japan, a couple is running from the police. But it did not take long before they were cornered by the cops. A hovering car carrying a scientist named Ko Honda appears out of nowhere. He steps out of his car and approaches the couple. Two years later, the couple named Shokishi and Nanao are in a spaceship heading to Mars. After hundreds of years of transformation, Mars is looking more like the Earth at the moment. It turns out that Shokishi and Anao were wanted for murder and were able to get executed. That is the reason why the cops are chasing them two years ago. But the scientists swooped in and recruited them to be part of a mission to repay for their crime. Their crew consists of different law offenders. There is a corrupt police officer, a serial killer, a human trafficker, a terrorist, two Yakuza members, and an illegal immigrant. On the other side of the ship, the rest of the crew seems to have trouble dealing with each other's attitudes. After some time, the captain of the ship, Captain Dojima, arrives and tells everyone to prepare as they are about to enter Mars's atmosphere. As the ship finally lands on Mars, the crew is amazed at how Mars has changed. Kohanda explains to the couple earlier that because of the terraforming project, Mars is now habitable to humans. The only thing they need to do is to eradicate the cockroaches that were sent to Mars as part of the project. Knowing about the couple's crime, Kohanda offers not only to acquit them of their crime, but also a great amount of money. Shokichi declines at first, saying that he cannot afford to expose Nanao to such a dangerous mission. However, Nanao signed the contract, forcing Shokichi to sign as well. Going back to the present, the crew launches a missile that releases a chemical that will kill the cockroaches. Then, the crew is divided into pairs to scout the area. Not long after, Captain Dojima manages to locate Aircraft Bugs-1, the ship of the first crew sent to Mars. He reports it to Kohanda, who uses a drone camera to assess the condition of Bugs-1. According to him, the first exploration that was launched 10 years ago was a secret project. Kohanda also added that if the mission turns out to be successful, Japan would be far more advanced in technological sophistication compared to other countries. Meanwhile, Shokichi and Nanao are patrolling outside when it is revealed that the man has a fear of cockroaches. During their conversation, Nanao spills that she purposely signed out for the mission because she knows that Shokichi is afraid of cockroaches. Shokichi is speechless. That's when Nanao tells him that she's only joking and that she will protect him no matter what. On the other part of the land, crew members named Jin and Maria are puzzled why there are no dead cockroaches around. Investigating further, they come across three humanoid creatures. These humanoids have a body of a muscle-bound man. Shokichi and Nanao also run into one of them. Not knowing what to do, Shokichi tries to talk to the creature, but the creature speed blitzes Nanao and breaks her leg. Shokichi immediately attends to his girlfriend as the creature speeds its way out of the man's sight. Jin and Maria arrive at the scene and inform Shokichi that their other crew member, Asuka, was killed by the humanoid creatures. Going back to the ship, Shokichi confronts Captain Dojima about the truth of their mission. The captain cannot answer. Ichiro, who witnessed Asuka getting killed, says that those creatures are cockroaches. Finally, Captain Dojima speaks up. He discloses to the crew that the cockroaches that were sent to Mars 500 years ago mutated and breed in the light of cosmic radiation. Within the harsh conditions of Mars, the cockroaches' mutation was sped up. They called these mutated humanoid cockroaches terraformers. That's when the scientist shows up as a hologram. He reveals to the team that before their mission, they are given powers to complete their mission. Calling it Bugs Operation, everyone in the crew was operated to allow their body to adapt to the DNA of different insects. 
Kohanda explains that they will get the strength, power, and abilities of each insect injected into them. He continues to say that the real success rate of the mission is only 30%. With everything revealed to the crew, the scumbag scientist leaves them. Afterward, Captain Dojima shows them the serum that has DNA cells of an insect specified for him. He then gives everyone the data of their specific insects via holographic wires attached to their heads. Captain Dojima also notes that as soon as the serum wears off, they will return to their normal selves. Lastly, if they overdose themselves, they might die in the process. Soray begs the captain to go home to Earth, but they are alerted that the cockroaches are already approaching the ship. The terrorist named God Lee speaks up that the government wouldn't care whatever happened to them. Unless they return to Earth after successfully terminating all of the cockroaches, Nanao's and everyone's death would mean nothing. He also believes that with their powers, they will be able to gain an upper hand against the government. Knowing God Lee's abilities, Captain Dojima entrusts him with the first wave of attack. Outside, God Lee injects himself with a serum that transforms him into a humanoid ground beetle with the ability to emit fire. God Lee tries to finish off the cockroach by blasting fire on it. Unfortunately, it survives and kills the man by turning him into a donut. The others watch in horror as the cockroach easily takes out the terrorist. Then, they notice that another cockroach is trying to break into the ship. As it manages to break through the glass, the cockroach beheads two more crew members. Captain Dojima fights the cockroach by transforming himself into a humanoid bullet ant. With his super strength, Captain Dojima manages to kill the cockroach. However, there are thousands of cockroaches ready to attack. With that number, they lose hope of survival. To add to their misfortune, all of the ship's engines are dead, so they cannot take off. Captain Dojima says that he will buy some time for the team to go to Bugs 1. They plan to transfer the engine from Bugs 1 to Bugs 2. Then, all they need to do for the mission is to get some samples from the cockroaches, and they can finally leave Mars. Shokishi and Jin want to stay behind to help the captain but Ichiro beats them to it. Afterward, Shokichi goes to Nanao and promises that he will come back for her. He is about to leave when he notices something is coming out of Nanao's body. The scene changes back to the control room where Ichiro transforms into a humanoid sleeping Cairo nomad and fights some cockroaches. Meanwhile, Tetsuka the serial killer transforms into a humanoid McClay to blow a jet of fire to propel their vehicle out of the main ship. It is then shown how Dojima is recruited by the rich man for the mission. After paralyzing his previous boss, Dojima can never be a captain again. The scumbag takes advantage of Dojima's situation and tasks him to collect some eggs for him. After trapping the cockroaches inside the ship, gives the go signal to Ichiro to remove the oxygen in the ship. Back to the rest of the crew, Jin approaches Shokishi and tells him that he knows the truth about Nanao's crime two years ago. In another flashback, Nanao is being mistreated because of her debt. Shokishi quickly came for her aid. He manages to get a hold of the man, but to his surprise, Nanao stabs the man. To protect her, Shokishi stabs the man once more and declares that he's the one who killed him. Jin assures Shokishi that he will help him give Nanao a proper burial but their conversation is interrupted when they spot a wave of incoming cockroaches. A literal wave that looks like a tsunami of Gigachad cockroaches. With no other options, the crew forces their way into the wave. But to their horror, the second wave of cockroaches is coming. However, this wave is much larger and Tatsuka might not be able to last any longer. Shokichi is about to head out when Sorei volunteers that she and Maria will help Tatsuka instead. Sorei transforms into a humanoid black beetle that has invincibility ability. On the other hand, Maria turns into a humanoid rainbow beetle who can camouflage. The two ladies shield Tatsuka as they go through the second wave of cockroaches. Although they manage to get through the wave, the vehicle crashes. Everyone loses consciousness. Luckily, the vehicle has autopilot mode. But Tatsuka, Sorei, and Maria are left in the open surrounded by the cockroaches and they meet their deaths brutally. The crew finally wakes up as they arrive at the location of Bugs 1. 
The drone watches as the two Yakuza stay behind to guard the entrance while Shokichi, Jin, and Mina go inside the ship. While running a diagnostic on the system, the three notice that the ship is transmitting something back to Earth. They hear a gunshot, and it turns out that the Yakuza were attacked by cockroaches with guns. Mina recognizes that the weapons that the cockroaches are using are from Bugs One. It means that even the cockroaches' intellect has evolved. This time, there's no one to stop Shokichi from fighting the cockroaches. It is then revealed that Kohanda is actually in contact and working with a cockroach. He warns the cockroach that he's in contact with to be careful with Shokichi's insect because it's too powerful. As they end the call, the cockroach prepares to carry out his task. The scene changes back to Shokichi as he transforms into a humanoid Asian giant hornet. Using his speed and poisonous sting, he takes down the cockroaches. Meanwhile, Jin turns into a humanoid desert locust with jumping and powerful kicking abilities. Lastly, Mina transforms into a humanoid orchid mantis, a carnivorous insect. The three of them fight the horde of cockroaches that surrounds them. A quick scene shows that a cockroach turns the oxygen back on in Bugs 2. Going back to the three, they manage to kill all of the cockroaches that surrounded them earlier. They are about to go back inside Bugs 1 when Shokichi notices a pyramid hiding the mist. The three of them wonder how can a pyramid be located on Mars. On Bugs 2, the cockroach is now pointing a gun into the captain's head. But to the captain's surprise, the body of the cockroach rips off like a cocoon as Asuka pops out of its body. Asuka, who turns out to be alive all this time, has the emerald cockroach wasp's DNA. She can enter the body of a giant cockroach and manipulate it. As it turns out, it was Asuka that Kohanda was talking to earlier. Asuka finishes Captain Dojima and immediately revives Ichiro by pouring some water on him. Asuka and Ichiro were contacted by Kohanda to bring a cockroach egg back to Earth. In another room, Nanao starts to be covered by a web-like substance. The scene changes back to Shokishi, Jin, and Mina hearing the Bugs 2 powering up. Kohanda talks to them through the drone. Kohanda reveals to them that the real plan is to collect a cockroach egg and have Asuka and Ichiro bring it back to him on Earth. He also reveals to them that the Japanese government knows about Operation Bugs. But instead of using astronauts, they opted to use law offenders who are in dire need of money to become the test subject for the operation. In other words, disposable test subjects. In addition, by collecting their combat data, they can make the greatest and strongest army of insects, even greater than nuclear weapons. Mina then asks about the pyramids. This is where Kohanda discloses the secret that they never send cockroaches to Mars. It was the cockroaches who went to Mars and evolved on their own. Mina cannot believe it, but Kohanda says that the existence of a pyramid on Mars is evidence that life forms already exist on Mars beforehand. Shokishi swears to Kohanda that they will be back on Earth, but the scumbag mocks them that they have no means of transportation to do so. Meanwhile, Ichiro remembers how difficult his life is back on Earth. He has a sick mother and many siblings, hungry and suffering in life. To worsen the situation, Ichiro is framed for rape and had to drop out of the university so he will not get reported. With his experience in life, the only thing that Ichiro trusts are money. He then asks Asuka why she agreed to do the job. Her answer is simple. Given her ability to manipulate cockroaches and how strong the humanoid cockroaches are, she plans to dominate and control the world. Then, they notice that the egg is about to hatch. They are surprised that it hatches a bit earlier than expected. Asuka transforms and tries to control the two humanoid cockroaches, but her ability does not affect them, and they kill Asuka. Kohanda theorizes that because the egg came from the cockroaches that Asuka manipulated, they immediately mutate and grow resistant to her ability. Now, Ichiro is trapped inside the ship with these two highly evolved humanoid cockroaches. Kohanda is terrified and orders the immediate landing of Bugs 2. However, Ichiro is stuck on the ground, unable to get up because of how fast the ship is flying. The two cockroaches then scream, calling for other cockroaches on the ground. 
The cockroaches quickly fly to the ship, destroying it. Inside, they also manage to take down Ichiro. As the Bugs 2 crashes, the cockroaches surround Shokichi, Jin, and Mina. With no way out, the three decide to fight. They are determined to get out of Mars alive. According to Shokichi, there's still one spacecraft in Bugs 2 that they can use to escape Mars. With their plan set, the battle between the mutated humans versus the mutated cockroaches begins. Although behind in numbers, Shokichi, Jin, and Mina manage to hold off against the cockroaches. Unfortunately, the two highly evolved humanoid cockroaches start to engage. Battling with Shokichi and Jin, they notice that the movements of these cockroaches are closer to humans. Mina tries to help, but the cockroach catches her bladed arm, cuts it off from her body, then uses it to decapitate her. Desperate, Jin injects one more serum. He evolves into a much stronger and faster version of his humanoid insect. Nonetheless, it is still not enough to beat the highly evolved terraformer. In order to help Jin, Shokichi also injects himself with another serum. Meanwhile, Jin adds one more injection and he finally grows wings. He then fights in the air against the flying cockroaches. But it didn't take long before Jin starts to feel the effect of overdosing on the serum as he starts to weaken. But instead of stopping, Jin doses himself more with the serum. Shokishi tries to stop him but fails as he's too busy fighting other cockroaches and the highly evolved ones. Determined to win, Jin manages to defeat one of the highly evolved cockroaches before he falls to the ground. Shokishi immediately defends Jin from a cockroach that's about to squash his head off. Asking why he overdosed himself, Jin tells Shokishi that he learned to like them. That is why he will do anything to survive and to help them. As the other highly evolved cockroach approaches, Shokishi attacks, but it manages to grab Shokishi's stings and breaks them. He is clearly no match for the cockroach. The cockroach is about to finish him when it suddenly stopped. Looking at the sky, they see a glowing moth flying around. Shokichi is surprised and mesmerized as he sees Nanao's silk moth form. Nanao gets the silk moth DNA that gives her the ability to spread dust that can explode. She spreads her dust over the horde of cockroaches. Jin realizes Nanao's ability and tells Shokichi to get away. Shokichi begs Nanao to stop, not noticing the cockroach who picks up a gun. Desperate, he flies to Nanao in hopes of saving and bringing her back to Earth. Unfortunately, the cockroach fires its gun, triggering a massive explosion that kills the horde and Nanao. In the end, Nanao still manages to keep his promise to Shokichi that she will always protect him. Just in time, Jin manages to grab Shokichi and flies away from the blast. Meanwhile, Back in Bugs 2, Ichiro manages to turn into a humanoid insect before the cockroaches manage to take him down earlier. As a glass of water spills on him, he gets revived again. Before Jin loses consciousness, he manages to drop Shokishi in front of Bugs 2. When Shokishi wakes up, he sees Jin dying in his complete insect form. Jin tells Shokishi that ever since he was a kid, he was always treated as an insect. But Shokishi assures him that he's a human, not an insect, and that he is his friend. In his dying words, Jin tells Shokichi that he needs to live and return to Earth to fulfill Nanao's will. Unfortunately, some of the cockroaches survived the blast, including the highly evolved one. Yet, it's too weak to fight as Shokichi manages to take it down without transforming. But instead of finishing the cockroach off, Shokichi spares its life. Inside the ship, Shokichi is about to confront Ichiro for betraying them when Ichiro saves his life after shooting the cockroach behind him. Deciding to settle everything on Earth, the two escape using the space pod. The cockroaches are about to chase after them when they are stopped by the highly evolved cockroach, showing that it has evolved a sense of gratitude after Shokichi spared its life. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the feed from Bugs 2 is being leaked worldwide. Kohanda realizes that it's how Ichiro gets his revenge for abandoning them on Mars. Kohanda plans to sell the combat data gathered from the research and disappear for good. This is when her secretary reveals herself to be sent by the government to watch over Kohanda. The secretary shoots the scientist, but there's a force field that shields him from the bullet. 
He then throws a mechanical spider on her to spray a toxin on her face, killing her. At the pod, Shokichi and Ichiro talk about their plans when they get back to Earth. Ichiro plans on taking on the big bosses that sent them to hell. Meanwhile, Shokichi plans to build a tomb for Nanao and everyone else from their crew. The movie ends with Shokichi revealing to Ichiro that he plans to return to Mars.